into my review of Crash Bandicoot The Insane Trilogy for the Nintendo Switch. So I think it's a pretty good game. Game with it being a remas remastering of the originals. And I, I really like it. Just I do have a few complaints. Like with the trying to like there are a few segments where you have to like jump into like the background round to, to get some like gems or something like that. And there's it's really hard to tell where you're gonna land because of the depth of the game. So I uh, wish that could be better. But I, I I really like it. I uh I really wish the sliding move was in the Crash Bandicoot 1 game option. Really. And if I, if I just can't figure out how to turn it on, then please comment down below how how I turn on the sliding in Crash Bandicoot 1. And I don't know why, but the intro from Crash Bandicoot 2, for some reason, just the, the introduction where, like, Neocortex is falling from the sky. For some reason, it just grosses me out, and I can't put my finger on it why it does. Because, I mean, I can't move my finger. I can really move my, hand, my arm a bit. Overall, it's a pretty good game. I'd give it a uh, 7 out of 10. And uh, thanks for watching this video.